It is currently the 12th of May 2020 in the Western Pacific. We have Tropical Depression Ombo, soon to be Tropical Storm, and really, for all intents and purposes at this time, why I labeled the video the way it is. Uh, this is a Tropical Storm Vong Fong, uh, once it gets named by the Japan Meteorological Agency. Winds right now, though, uh, R55 gusting up to 80 kilometers per hour, according to Pagasa, pressure at 1,008 hectopascals, moving towards the north pretty slowly. But like I mentioned, for all intents and purposes, this is a tropical storm. According to the Dvorak analysis, what we use when storms are over open water because there are no um, recon or observations in this area is uh, basically satellite analysis showing a Dvorak intensity of 2.4 winds, probably around 34 knots, which is the minimum for a tropical storm big thing right now with this storm though it is pretty lopsided with the max winds on the eastern periphery got a little bit of shear coming in from the west now as it moves towards north it will continue to wrap itself up with a landfall likely as we go ahead in the wednesday night through thursday morning around katanduas or southeastern areas of bicol also around the gospi there you could even see a possible typhoon rate at landfall as well actually according to jtwc they're expecting those winds uh, upwards of about 70 gusting to 85 knots as this comes on shore skirts the coastline and then moves out across luzon here dumping a lot of rain along the way so here is the main point where you're expecting that landfall can do this over there towards be call uh, strong tropical storm possible typhoon at landfall the philippine sea is baking with its sea surface temperatures right now actually sea, sea surface temperatures are reports about 30 31 degrees so that could involve that possibility of rapid intensification and local flooding and landslides also big things we're going to continue to monitor here so where exactly will this storm system go well models kind of differ most of them or all of them all, all agree that this is going to drift towards north and make a sharp left hand churn here as we go ahead through tuesday into wednesday it's all thanks to the high pressure area located just over guam and that's going to allow this to come on shore now how far does it go that's the number one question for example the ecmwf model here does kind of pull it well towards the west even staying south of manila and some of the model threads here the ensemble from the gfs mostly keeps it towards the east of manila and then the cmc kind of all all over the place and i think that's why uh Pegas actually continues to pull this towards the ncr because you really want to be prepared for that possibility of flooding out there they don't want to pull it towards the east especially with this wide variance in the model from the ecmwf you do get wide variances when you have a lack of steering flow now this is my thought though there is a weak steering flow in here, but the upper level pattern does kind of keep it towards the east. So I do think this is going to make landfall in Gospi. My thoughts, I think this is going to stay east of Manila based on the overall steering flow right now where this is going to go. But if this high pressure ridge builds in stronger, that could push it a little bit further towards the west. So let's take a look at some of the models here. Starting off with the ECMWF, and this just kind of shows that development as it pulls towards the west. Coming on shore as we go ahead through, well, the next 48 to 72 hours. Actually, this is the latest run from the ECMWF and actually keeps it relatively weak and pulls it further towards the west. Now, we compare that up with the GFS, and there's a pretty different story here. Also, having this intensify, then move across Legaspi and Catanduas, and then eventually towards the north around northern areas of Luzon as well. So with that said, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know down in the comment box below. Just a quick look at the latest information on the storm system, especially as we see it becoming a tropical storm system here towards the southeast of the Philippines and really about 48 to 72 hours before this comes on shore there. Northern Samar, even though you may not see the exact landfall there for you, I would still expect some pretty decent rainfall. So Samar, yeah, you're going to be looking at that chance of flooding there as well as it skirts your eastern seaboard. So 
A lot of impacts to be had here. Stay safe, everybody. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know. Plus, by the way, in the long term, see this right here? This is the rainy season front. This is going to move towards the north, get caught up by that, and pull towards the east. So I know I have people out here in Okinawa that have been asking me about it. Um, I don't think it will be impacting those of you in Okinawa directly, but you could see some enhancement in the rainfall. And I'll get to that over the course of the next few days. Right now, my big concern is out here. If you're ahead of the storm, make those preparations now. Make sure you have plenty of water some food uh secure objects things like that i mean we are already in the middle of pandemic and the last thing we need is just more problems on top of what we've already been getting so stay safe out there guys and as always thanks for watching